Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Alfie, and in this video we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide, how to delete a swap partition in Linux systems. So without further ado, let's get right into it. To check if you have a swap file or swap partition, type and hit enter. This command shows all the swap spaces currently in use, indicating whether they are swap partitions or swap files. As you can see, the type will show if you have a swap partition or swap file. I have one gigabyte of swap space, and it's on a swap partition. If it were a swap file, the type would have been file instead of partition. You can disable an already active swap partition on the system using the following command. and hit enter. Replace devsdia3 with your swap partition. This command disables the specified swap partition, or you can disable all swap spaces on your system using type and hit enter. This command disables all swap spaces on your system, including both swap partitions and swap files. You can disable the swap partition permanently by removing the entry from the fs tab file. Type and hit enter. This command opens the fs tab file in the nano text editor. Then remove the following line at the end of the file, or comment it out by adding a number sign at the beginning of the line. Save and close the file. If you are using nano, you can save, and exit by pressing Ctrl plus X, then Y, and then enter. To resize and merge the swap partition with your system partition, you will need the gparted live version, on a USB drive, or a live USB drive such as the Debian Live USB drive. I will use Debian Live, which you can download from the Debian website. Once you have the Live USB, boot from it. After booting, run the following commands, and hit enter. This command installs Gparted, a graphical partition editor on your system and hit enter. This command launches Gparted, allowing you to create and manage partitions. Note, for partitions to be merged and resized, they need to be next to each other. If not, it's still possible to merge them, but you need to move the swap partition next to your system partition first. And that's it. You've successfully deleted a swap partition on your Linux system. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to share more with you. So, until next time, see you later.